in today's session of Divorce Court. Travis Shelby says his wife Audra should be ashamed of being a stripper. It's your profession, it's your body, it's what you do. Do you have a problem with it? No. He didn't have no problem watching me strip. I didn't like what I saw. And that's not the real reason why this marriage is in no way. My mother didn't agree with us stripping, y'all. He always listened to his mother. That's so what's wrong with him now. So the problem in this marriage is the mother -in -law. His mother. What kind of work do you do? <laughs> I work for an escort service. But he didn't want wait, me to strip, though. Wait, 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 If you ever heard of the word, it's hypocritical. Now, Audra Snow squares off with Travis Shelby in today's session of Divorce Court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Audra Snow versus Travis Shelby. And Mr. Shelby, I am advised that after three and a half years of marriage, you want to end the marriage. Why? Well, Your Honor, it's like this. My wife, Audra Snow, all she wanted to do was be a stripper, y'all. I did not agree with it, and I, you know, I just couldn't understand it. You know, I wanted her to get a better job. The only thing I think she was doing was going out on weekend turning tricks for money. Turning tricks for money, which you, you were spending? You had no problem I, uh, watching I was me, Mrs. Snow. Wait a minute, which you were spending? No, ma'am, I had a job, y'all. You didn't spend her money? I had a job, y'all. That wasn't my question. You didn't <laughs> spend her money? Yes, ma'am. I spent the money because it was coming, but I did not agree with it. You know, I told her, I, she had, you know, she's smart, y'all, and I told her she can get a better job than what she was doing. What happened, Miss Snow? He didn't have no problem watching me strip. He, he used to take me to work, pick me up from work. And that's not the real reason why this marriage is in no way. Yeah, well, let's talk question. about that for a minute. Then you can tell me your perception. Okay. He says in his mind, this is why it's ending. That is not the real reason. What do you say is the real reason? The reason is he had a child outside the marriage. I accepted that child. Later on, when I found out that I was pregnant with his child, he wanted child. me to have oh, abortion. Hold on a second. So he had a child outside the marriage? Yes, he did. When you say you accepted the child came into the, your home? Well, or at the time we were staying with my parents, and then later on, he came home and told me he had another woman pregnant. After that, I accepted that child. And later, when it was time for me to have my own family, start our own family, he wanted me to have abortion. But he I'm said he didn't want to be with me no more, that he wanted to be with... His ex-girlfriend. So you, the two of you had broken up or, or hadn't yes. married yet? We were still staying with my parents then a were month later. Were you married or unmarried? We was married. We married. All right. And we started staying with my parents, and he left me a month later saying that he didn't want to be with me no more. He didn't love me. He wished he never but married me. And he wanted to be tell with his ex-girlfriend, the one he got pregnant. And then don't, he came don't, back, don't. I mean, like, two weeks into the marriage, he had another girl pregnant. So what you're saying to me is that this marriage has never been one built on trust in the first place. No, it wasn't. So you he was started going stripping... behind my back, Wait cheating and lying. And you were going behind Had his back, cheating. My parent... No, I well, was lying to him. Lying. You want to say something? No, lying. You were going behind his back, lying, and he was going behind your back, cheating and lying. Is that what you're saying to me? Yes, but I never be... cheated on him. I didn't say I did. I say cheat. Oh. But you were lying about the fact that you were stripping, right? But we wasn't together. You were still was married. Still... Yes, true. And when you got back together, did he, did he know he that you had begun? He already knew. He used to take me to work. He used to pick me up from work. And it was no problem. It was no problem. Yeah, I, I rather, so this, this began when you separated. Married. Yes. And it's not because of him having another woman. It's because you chose this as a profession. True. What was? Did you choose it for the pay or for? Well, me and my what? friend decided one day just to go do it. Don't strip. Well, it was know, something we was doing when we was young at the time. Y'all, I'm going to take her because 18. I feel better that it's, If she going to do it, I feel better that it's me taking her. You know what I'm saying? At least I know that she's going there and that she's getting safe and she's getting, you know, a ride back so home. So that means he did didn't have no problem when he was watching me? Yes, ma'am. A couple times I did. Yes, ma'am. So you usually like, stayed there with her when she was working? A couple times. I didn't like what I saw. What did you what? say to her to try to suggest to her not to do this as a profession? Well, I told her, you know, um, I had a, you know, I had an oldest child already on, you know, on the way. And, um... He during, had the time we were trying to get, uh, during the time, we were already discussed about me getting custody of my older child because of things that was going on with, with the mother there. So, you know, I didn't feel like that was right for her to be a stripper. You know, that's not a good role model for my child. Well, did you feel that you were such a good role model running out there having a baby by another woman and you're married to somebody? Two Actually, women. Man, she can tell you, on that, ba um, that, that baby was... Uh, Just answer my question. Did you nope. think you were such a good role model? Ma'am, that baby was made before I got married, y'all. 
But he was, we were still okay, born together. Okay, so you were but with the another... Was, but the baby was born during so the marriage. So you were with another woman. You were with Mrs. Snow, not married to her yet. You're also dating whomever the mother is of the other child. Yes, ma'am. And he You're had another child. I'm talking. Oh. You married Miss Snow, and another woman has your child. Yes, what kind did. of role model were you? I wasn't saying to get it, but before my, I wasn't saying a good role model. Oh, yes, I just right. wanted you to see. But before my, before my child, for, you know, for to come out, I was trying to make that change to do that, John. So you married Mrs. Snow, so you wanted to do well. Start a family, that's right, John. If he but wants to start a family, why, did, when I got so pregnant, he wanted to have an abortion? So when Mrs. Snow got family, did you tell her to have, a, when she got pregnant, did you tell her to have an abortion? Yes, ma'am, I did. Why? He said he wasn't ready for responsibility. I also brought the fact about abortion or get a baby up for adoption because during the time uh, Mrs. Snow got pregnant, she actually, yes, she did stop stripping, but she, uh, but so she during can't the time... Miss Snow, was... wait, uh, wait just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Let me hear it, one of you at a time. Well, actually, Sean, I don't even think this baby's mine. Why not? Because on the weekend, she would go out with her friends, Sean, and she would go out... How was I going to go out, Trey, if oh, you had the choir this time? So this is the baby you told her to have the abortion. She didn't have one. Yes, ma'am. Why would he take care of a child of two years if he felt like that child wasn't his? Well, a lot of times men take care of children when they feel that they're not there. Matter because, fact, matter hold fact, on, I'm going to answer your question. A lot of times we do that, men do that because they accept it when the woman says, I'm, I'm pregnant and you're the father. He's just saying oh, that because of what his mother said. I don't think that's your baby. He yeah. always listened to his mother. That's so what's wrong with him now. So the problem in this marriage is the mother -in -law. His mother. So that's what, so you think that she interferes a lot. Why y'all didn't wear no condom? I mean, that's, that's my husband. That's same thing to judge. Well, I mean, that's my husband. Why would I come with him? Your mother-in-law asked you that? His mother. Asked you why you didn't use the condom? Yes. Blame it she thought all you on weren't me. supposed to have a baby either? My mother didn't agree to her stripping, y'all. I wish I can't blame you. know, I really didn't agree. That's why we were trying to change it. My mom didn't agree to her But did you stripping. realize, what kind of work do you do? Right now, uh, at first, during that time, I was uh, working at an auto auction. I was a car auction. Tell the now, reason why you, you quit. quit. Right now? <laughs> Tell her the reason why you quit. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to figure well, out. I got two jobs right now. Right now, I'm, I'm working in a family contract business at nighttime. I work for an escort service. What kind of service? Escort service. But he didn't want wait, me to strip wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. What is an escort service? I'm, no, I'm not, I'm no, not. no, no, no. <laughs> Explain that to me, quick. No. What is an escort service? Escort service. Is it yeah. what I think it is? As long as they ain't laying down with the with, uh, with the. I person. can't it's tell. I just found out he Ms. had Snow, another child. Miss No, wait a minute. Oh. You being rude for real. So now you drive other women around. Yes, ma'am. And take them to meet dates. Yes, ma'am. Strangers. Yes. To go to dinner and movies and whatever else yes, that the customer requires, right? Yes. But of course, no sex is involved. No we sex all know involved. that. Yes, ma'am. Right, Joe? <laughs> right. And you mad at your wife because she at least is in the open and honest and goes to a club, takes off her clothes. But shows her body and dances, makes money, bring it back home. That's a different, y'all. Them people, them women, that, that's not my wife. They're not I'm your not wife. I'm not concerned about them, really. That's not my wife. My he didn't wife, have no problem until his mama started seeing some of the body. That's not him. So that's again, you're saying that he's his controlled mother, by the His mother had a big... My problem with this, y'all. My mom had nothing second. to do so with this. Well, why do you say he didn't have a problem until his mother started saying something? She was like, I wouldn't let my daughter be no stripper. Then that's when he started having a problem. I mean, what mother he would? To, what mother would, He though? listened to everything his mother say. When Divorce Court returns, Travis's actions speak louder than words. He left me when I was two months pregnant to start staying with another woman. Have you ever heard of the word hypocritical? And later, is Travis really the father of Audra's baby? Yes, I have the paternity test results. Are you involved in a dispute with a neighbor, friend, relative, or business person? Take your case to a new court show and be represented by a prominent attorney. Call 877-777-0099. Divorce Court is back in the case of Travis Shelby, who says he left his wife, Audra, because she wouldn't give up her job as a stripper. What role do you think having all these babies played in this marriage? And he no, left me when I was kids. two months pregnant. Excuse me, you only, only have, have three, how many? Three kids. By three. whom? He just had one another before baby. I, uh, baby a month old now. one before uh, I got married. No, that was conceded before I, had, right. before I got married. And the second one was since we've been sep uh, separated. And while you're still married? Yes, ma'am. That's what uh -oh. we were trying to work out marriage And this is the man out. that you're concerned about role model and what, what roles... But see, I take care of my kids, though. You know I take care you of don't take care my kids. You don't Hold take care of mine? You don't take care of mine? Miss Noel and Mr. Shelby, we both can't all talk at the same time. Yes, ma'am. And it's not just because you take care of them that's a good role model, Mr. Shelby. Having children by different women at different times in your life not and not cute. being there with them 
all the time and not being a father on a regular basis. They need more than just dollars and more than child support. My, that is still not a good role model. My, young, my oldest child stayed with me, Yon. And she my, just my young, I mean, he's only you. two months years old, and I see him every day. But the point is, you have He won't even tell me about that child. Hold on a second. The point is that you're having another woman outside while you're already married and having another child. Now your baby's got three different mothers, three sets of children. That's not a good role model either. So don't talk to me about her being a role model. This is the woman you were married to, but you tell her to have an abortion. That's the only one that should have been brought into the world. He told me I ain't understand. So now she has a child. Now, is that a problem? Because she decided not to have the abortion? That's not a problem. I just want to know the child He left me when I was two Yana. months pregnant I mean, to on, start staying with another woman. Come on, Yana. That's older than him. Yana, can I use it for example? You, think you, about are what you, have you ever heard of the word hypocritical? Oh, now, come on, Yon. I mean, come think on. about it. She's staying gone all night long. I don't know if this child minds or not. So where are you when she's gone? How did you get into another affair? I didn't have a affair while I was married. Yes, Yana, he did. When I was yes, married, I was not yes, cheating, Yon, when I was married. Let me tell you something. You're still married. I understand it, but we've been separated for two years, Yon. Tell her the reason why. Why? He left me when I was two months pregnant and started staying with another woman. I didn't find out about that woman until his mama said something. So once he told you to have the abortion, you refused. He, he left, left me. you because you were pregnant and Yana, he didn't yes, want he you did. to be pregnant. Yon, I yes, was gone did. before she even told me she was pregnant, Yon. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's why you say you're not sure if the, the child is yours. He know that. Yes, ma'am. And the I child is two years old? The child looks just like him and his mom. I think we have paternity blood tests, right? Yes, ma'am. So that's why this marriage ended. It ended because... Behind a bunch of lies and deceit. A lot of kids. And cheating and infidelity. Yes, ma'am. And because you couldn't control what kind of work okay, she did. Okay, if he felt like that child her, wasn't his, was, when I, I was going to file child support on him and they asked him, did he want a blood test, he said no, because he already knew for a fact that was his child. Now, all wife, of a sudden, now that I may order support, he wants a blood test, and we've given it to you. He said that about all his other kids. I don't feel I like that child that mine. Mine. Can You want to get mad. But now, you, you're upset with him, but somebody says you loaned him money, so... I loaned him $400. Come to find out, he gave it to his other uh, baby mama. Once you separate, and he doesn't like We're the kind of work... We're getting back together last month. He told me he wanted to be me and stuff like a fool. I'm like, okay. And I loaned him $400 out of my income tax. Probably more than that, because I helped him with his car note. Come to find out, he gave the money to another woman. So he's borrowed money from you to give to somebody to else? To another woman. Is that right, And Mr. then when Chubby? I asked him about... No, I don't have no trick or nothing. I'm not going to sit there and give a woman some money. Now, the money that she gave me, it was a loan. Matter of fact, it was, was Valentine's Day, y'all. Why would I give and you And why did she loan you money on Valentine's Day? She didn't so loan it to me. It was a gift, y'all. Why would it be a gift for you a... to give me nothing? Wait a minute, Who wait a minute. So you're trying to tell me that it's Valentine's Day and you've been separated. Yes, And it's all this animosity, but now she's so in love with you that she brings you the heart of gold some money. Well, she'll sit there and tell you, honey, she loved me to death. That's I sure why she do. gave it to me. And she's sitting, you just heard it. She's, yes, she do. I love him while my heart, but she I'm not going to be no fool. It no was more. not a loan. I even answered. I said, this alone, I have to pay you this back to your son. She you said, already no. know. It so you're still in love with friend. this man, even I though still love he's him. cheating and lying and having all these babies. I still love him. Do you love yourself? Yes, I do. I don't she think so. Herself. She wouldn't be in stripping. Well, she I don't be in think the escort that... service. No, let's not even go there. Let's, let's erase this question of whether this child is yours or not. I have the paternity test results. You admit it that you took. And I know that you know whether this child is yours or not. I get so sick of that. When divorce court returns, paternity test results are in, and the judge renders her verdict. You played a game. You bought your evening. You accepted. It wasn't even on Valentine's did, Day. That's... Did, did I ask you to say anything else? And an update on the case of Sharita Colvin versus Antone Wilson. She dressed. Hoochie mama stuff, okay? She let her breasts hang out. All she good for was sex. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Audra Snow, who says her husband Travis left her because he didn't like her job as a stripper. 99.9999999. I can't get any further. Percentage that you're the father of the child. She looks just that like him. That makes me happy then, y'all. You already know. makes me happy. You already know. I didn't already know. That was just another something you wanted to throw out to try to make her look see, bad. Yeah. Nah, no, there wasn't nothing like that. I mean, you think about it, y'all. So if what you about have... this loan that she gave you? It wasn't a loan. It wasn't a loan. It's a difference between a gift and a loan, y'all. And why you said it was, you said it was you a gift because it was Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's Day. It was Valentine's Day. Yes, ma'am. 
And so how did it come about that she decided to give you $400 for Valentine's Day? Did she bring it over it to you? It wasn't Valentine's Day. Hold on a second. Day. Did she bring it over to you in a card with $400 inside the card in the envelope? And you sat down and had a Valentine's dinner no, together? Like this, young... And she said, here, sweetheart, here's a gift for you. How did it happen? It, it, I almost had the dinner, but I couldn't make the dinner, though. So tell me, how did it happen? We're playing together. I told her I was short trying I needed to get my car fixed. And in order to get my car fixed, you know, I needed a little cash and I needed some money to do other things with. You know, because I was in the process of switching jobs. Not even jobs. see your baby mama. And I was in the process of switching jobs, so my next check haven't came yet. And so she said, well, I'm going to give you a Valentine gift. She said, the first she said she was going to give me some shoes. I told her I didn't need no shoes. She said, well, I'm going to give you $400 for the, uh, the money that you need for a Valentine gift. And I said, sure. I even asked her. I said, hey, do you want to write a contract with this or anything? I don't think she said the there and said, well, the $400. She said, with the $400, we're also going to have dinner that night, and she was going to have a romantic evening at the hotel. A romantic evening at the hotel. That's what she that said. That was the catch. That was the catch. And it was a conditional four hundred dollars. Yes, ma'am. Romantic evening at a hotel with candlelight. Yes. But did you do that? And I didn't go to the. I didn't go to the hotel room. Because he was messing with uh, another woman. Did you go to the hotel room? No, ma'am, I didn't. He was messing so with another woman. You didn't have a romantic evening. Didn't nope. have the candlelight dinner. No, ma'am. All right. And was that a condition of the four hundred dollars? No, it wasn't. You weren't supposed to have candlelight dinner. I was up on impression that we was getting back together. He came to me. I, I mean, at first, I didn't even know. I didn't even know he lost his job. I had to call a job. Asked some reason why my okay, child. I want to know why did you give him four hundred dollars? Because he said he needed some help, and I gave him the money. And did he promise to pay you back? Yes, he did. What did Come he on, say? I don't sit in the school room. What did he say, Miss Snow? He just said I'll give you back the money. We could write up a contract. That was with the three hundred dollars. Right. He said at first. we could write up a contract. Did you? No, because I trust him. But now you know what? I accept your statement that there was no contract written and there was no date to repay. But she also gave it to you on a condition. I didn't and go to. My turn. She also gave it to you on the condition. Yes, ma'am, she did. Condition was, I give you the money because I care about you and I want to be with you. And unfortunately, she was buying her romantic evening. Yes. You didn't keep your end of the bargain. I couldn't contract keep my end of the bargain. Was not, contract was not fulfilled. Yes, ma'am. You played a game. You bought your evening that you didn't get. You it wasn't even on Valentine's did, Day. That's... Did, did, I, did I ask you to say anything else? You bought, tried to buy this man and tried to buy his love and affection. Backfired on you. You played a game and you tried the game on her knowing that you weren't going to do all of that and you just needed some money. You knew and took advantage of the fact that she still loved you, just like you stood here bragging and saying, she still loved me now. No. She, I, I just hush. I truly believe that you gave this man the money. Because he needed some help. Because he needed help, and you still cared a lot for him, and you also believed that if you loaned him or gave him this money, that it would get him back, that you would have him again. You accepted that with full knowledge of what was going on. I think it was a little trickery on your part, and it was sad on your part. In all fairness, give her back half of it. That's the order of the court. The court's adjourned. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Sharita Colvin versus Antone Wilson. Antone does not know how to treat me. See, he wanted me to be this little perfect little housewife. It has to be his way of a highway. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... Are you involved in a dispute with a neighbor, friend, relative, or business person? To appear before a real judge on a new court show, call 877-777-0099. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Antone Wilson said he wanted to divorce his wife, Sharita Colvin, because she dressed like a tramp. She dressed hoochie mama stuff, okay? She let her breasts hang out. All she would give her was sex. Who do you think you're talking to? But Sharita said their marriage ended because Antone was too controlling. Antone does not know how to treat me. See, he wanted me to be this little perfect little housewife. It has to be his way of the highway. Sharita brought Antone to court because he refused to pay for child care for their daughter. And the judge ordered him to pay the money. Sharita is living with her new boyfriend and says if everything goes as planned, they will get married next year, have a baby, and buy a big house in the city. Antone has enrolled in school to become a minister and says he hopes to start his own ministry someday, which he will finance by modeling. 
Antone also says he is looking for a church-going woman to be his wife and have at least five children with him. I will never give another man no money. I won't trust another man. I'm not going to be with no one else. I'm, I'm happy with the verdict, and I, you know, even though I have to pay $250 back, it's okay. I don't regret marrying him. I just hate that we went through a lot of problems. I know she wasn't faithful. I know she wasn't faithful. You know, even the baby came to be mine, that's great. But I know she wasn't faithful.